What's up guys? Today I've got a super easy recipe for crab stuffed mushrooms. It's a recipe that's guaranteed to impress your family and friends and I'm gonna do it all in under five minutes. So stick around, I'll show you how. And if you want great kitchen content three times a week, hit that subscribe button now. Click that bell notification so you never miss a video. All right, let's make some crab stuffed mushrooms. These are some baby portobellos. I've got about a dozen. They're beautiful. The reason I chose these is they're quite a bit larger and they have quite a bit more surface area for stuffing. You could use any kind of mushroom you want or any size but it all depends on how much time you want to spend in preparation. If you get a ton of little mushrooms, you're going to spend a lot of time prepping the mushrooms and stuffing them, and it's going to take quite a bit longer. You could also use a larger portobello, and then just do one per person per serving if you like. I chose these specifically because I wanted to make about a dozen. So I've got a really easy recipe, not a lot of ingredients. You could knock this out in about 45 minutes. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare these. Be very careful, you probably just don't wanna pop this stem off because these are pretty delicate and you may end up losing a couple of the mushrooms. So very simple, I'm just gonna take a paring knife. I'm gonna stick it in here and drive it in about halfway and then I'm really just gonna kinda of turn the mushroom until the stem pops off. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna just clean up these edges a little. And there we are. That should hold about an ounce and a half of stuffing. Now I'm gonna save all these pieces in the stem and I'm gonna cut these up and add it to our stuffing as well. I was fortunate I didn't lose any. Sometimes you get a little aggressive and you squeeze a little too hard and you end up breaking them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast these for about 15 or 20 minutes because the filling we're gonna put in it is gonna be already cooked, at least the majority of it is. And I want these mushrooms to be nice and soft. I don't want them to be still firm and undercooked. So I'm gonna pre-cook them for about 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll add our stuffing to it. So I'm gonna just put them in a pan. I'm gonna add a little olive oil in here I'm gonna cover these in foil and stick them in the oven about 350 and we'll check them after about 15 minutes. All right, here's the ingredients for our filling. I have these broken into two groups. First, we have a cup of the mushroom stems, one cup of finely diced onions, and a half cup of chopped parsley. These items here, we're gonna saute. And once those are done, we're gonna add the remaining ingredients and toss it. So we have the eight ounces of crab meat, I have a half cup of panko breadcrumbs, and about three quarters of a cup of grated Swiss cheese. So here's our filling. I've taken it off the heat, placed it in this mixing bowl, and cooled it for a few minutes. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and add our crab. Swiss cheese, some parsley, and the breadcrumbs. This is a little Old Bay seasoning. This is optional. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, some pepper, Let's check it out. So I add a little Parmesan cheese to the top. I baked them at 350 for about 15 minutes on the top rack. Got everything nice and browned. They turned out great. I can't wait to try them. Here we go. Cheers. Wow. I know I said that Old Bay was optional, but it really adds a nice touch to it. This is a $20 appetizer. There's tons of crab in it. I'm getting a little crunch from that panko breading. That cheese really held everything together, nice and moist inside. Those earthy mushrooms are cooked perfectly. It's amazing. And that's how that one goes. 